Hey what's going on guys, it's Dignal here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect that you've just seen on screen. Uh, it's actually very easy to make, surprisingly. Uh, so I thought I'd just go over them with you guys uh, today. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is just go into your video effects tab and search for uh, distort RGB. So uh, once you're here, just go ahead and apply the, uh, the default onto here. And you're going to want to copy my settings. Are you going to make this 0 0.5, 0 0.04 right here? Uh, on warp red, we're going to make it 0 0.06, just like this. On warp green, we're going to make it 0. And we're going to do the same thing with our warp blue, just like that. And our amount, amount rel X, we're going to make it like 2, roughly, just like that. And we're going to set both of these to reflect, make sure it's on that and filter is enabled and the last thing you're going to need to do is just delete entirely the amount rel uh y thing and as you can see you have this very cool sort of outline on where the character actually is uh now what we're going to want to do from here is just keyframe our amount to roughly where the build up starts which is going to be right here and we just drag that there and set that to zero uh, now just make sure that everything looks decent just like that I think it looks fine we can probably drag it out a bit uh, but there we go uh, the next thing you want to do is go up here and search your color corrector secondary and uh, we'll see this desaturate all but reds option here just go ahead and drag that on here uh, set the saturation to one uh, go ahead and just go to roughly the same keyframe as the disorder GB Make sure it's at one there, and then we go slightly further in, and we set the desaturate. We set the saturation to zero. Now this is going to make uh, you know the the saturation go down while we're in it, and as you can see, it looks quite good. Uh, just play around with all the timings of the effects, as you can see. And yeah, we we want to make sure that it looks you know decent and that it isn't actually too you know much. If that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, the next thing we want to do is just add some more detail. So we're going to go up here and search for uni.vhs. Uh, this is another very good effect it's in the universe plugin. Make sure to get that if you haven't already. Uh, now this one you can be a bit more creative with. I'm going to go ahead and just apply this effect right here. So you can just go ahead and pause the video here. I'm not going to put the preset in the description because uh, I'm too lazy. Uh, but as you can see, you can just go ahead and copy those settings right here. In order to actually uh, keyframe this, we're going to go down to blend with original. Uh, just sort of set that there. And somewhere here, we can just set it to 100, which is actually normal. And then we just like do that with, I think, a uh, slow fade would be good. And then we just drag it out like that. Uh, we can go ahead and pre-render this. But as you can see, I think that looks quite decent. There we go. Uh, now what we're going to want to do is just add some shake to this. Because right now it's feeling pretty plain. You know, it's just as it is. Uh, so we go up here and switch your dissolve shake. I'm just going to apply the default. And uh, we just set the frequency to 30 right here. And then we go up to amount. And we just sort of drag it up a bit. Just to sort of see, you know, how it's going. Uh, and just keep going with your thoughts good. Just like that. I think that looks pretty decent. We can just drag that up a bit instead of just slow fade. I think that looks quite good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the last thing you want to do here, pretty much the last thing, is just add some, uh, some detail. So we just go up here and we search for film damage. Uh, and we can just apply the default, I guess. Uh, we want to really drag down the grain amp here a bit. Stay in density down. Uh, the really, the only thing we want really is dust density. Uh, not really any scratches, no, no flick or anything like that. Uh, defocus is bad. You know, everything is bad here except for the dust density, which we can drag up by quite a bit. Uh, now, as you can see, we can just go ahead and keyframe that. So down here, I guess. Uh, we want to match this up with the VHS. So uh, we just set that to zero. And then a slow fade. 
So if we go ahead and pre-render this, it should look decent. Um, I think the uh, dissolve shake is a bit too fast right here. So I'm going to go down and that to 5 and like frequency 20. Ooh, dude. There we go. I think it looks much better. Uh, now what we're going to want to do is just go into our cropping uh, option and go sort of here where he just starts dragging out his gun, I think, which is like right here. And then we go to the, uh, the the second to last frame. We just zoom it in a whole bunch, just sort of tilt it to the side, I guess. Just drag it here. Maybe I'm not I'm not really sure. You can do whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter all too much what you do. Just set this one to slow and uh, drag it over. And there we go. Uh, now, there are a couple things you can do to actually add to this effect, and that is going to be the impact. Uh, so, you have your impact. Uh, just go ahead and add some glint to it. I would recommend it just copying these settings right here. So, uh, obviously, to change the hue to something red, just go ahead and copy these and. Uh, just go ahead and keyframe all of the values here. So I'm going to set the first one to zero and I'm going to drag that down here and we can also add some glow. Uh, now we can just apply default, drag the threshold up to like nine, set the glow to red right next to that and just go ahead and keyframe it pretty much. Uh, you can, you know, it's called over editing for a reason. You can do pretty much whatever the fuck you want. And there we go. Now we have pretty much an entire overrated effect. Uh, the only thing we really have left is the uh, the the build up, right? Uh, now hopefully you have a build up, you know, at home or whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna just drag one in here. I'll it'll also be in the description, I think. So uh, just go ahead and copy that. It'll look something like this. Just go ahead and drag it out to the end here so that the end matches up with this. And we just do something like that. We can just sort of fade it in towards the start. Something like that, I think, would be great. And there we go. We can also add a bass swoosh to this if we're feeling, you know, very over edity. Uh, and, you know, once we've done that, the final product should look something like this. And there we go. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.